Hey hello everyone my name is Ravindra and I welcome you to my YouTube channel in this video we will see how to send the data from power apps to power automate like collection record text or number this type of inputs we will send it from power apps to power automate by using power apps v2 connector so let's go in the make dot power apps so i have very simple application okay given name power apps v2 added one screen okay this is simple label okay and this is one button i have added okay so to send our data from power apps to power automate okay first we need to create a power automate flow so best way to create that flow is from just here you can be see three dots okay just go to power automate and create a flow from here okay so this flow will present in your environment okay and it will add in your solution as well okay if you open this app from solution then in that case okay so let's i go and click on power automate here okay and click on create new flow okay so our flow is creating okay let's we start from blank okay create from blank let's give the name to our power automate flow okay let's i give the name send data from power apps to power automate okay let's add our inputs okay let's add one text input first okay and one more is the number okay second one is for the our object okay and last one is for our collection okay so let's we use all the things and let's i convert this to text input okay and let's i add one new step here compose okay in the compose let's we take the input okay text input click on the new step okay and right here power apps okay response so we have to send response back to our power apps okay so that's why we are using this trigger respond to power apps flow okay and here we are giving the input okay okay plus code 200 so means our flow is uh, run successfully we will get 200 as a success code okay so let's i click on save so now our flow is added in adding in our power apps okay so let's i open this flow in the make dot power apps okay so if i go in the my flows and let's i refresh this so we can be able to see our flow in the power apps power automate sorry so let's re i refresh okay so friends you can be see our flow is now visible in power automate so let's i go click on the edit here in the power apps v2 trigger okay uh, i not need anything required okay so all these things are the optional currently okay so i am making all the fields optional okay because we need to do the learning here okay for that purpose and let's click on the save okay no problem you can ignore that warning okay let's go in the power apps let's refresh our flow one more time okay click on the run flow okay and we will use our set then our variable name okay gbl response and then give comma and let's provide our flow name okay send data from power apps to power automate run okay then you can be see we have the three text input okay that are showcasing in the text okay so same format we have to pass let's we i give the curly bracket first okay so it is asking for the text one okay so text let's we give the text here okay let's i pass the text as ravindra 
okay let's give comma then we have the number okay let i pass a number 1 2 3 okay then give comma then we have the text one okay so this is the our object okay so let's i create one object okay we will create object by using curly brackets and the last one is we have the collection okay so these two things we will see at the end okay so first let's i run this flow currently okay and let's we close the set function as well okay and let's run our power automate flow here okay so flow is running okay and it's run successfully okay how to see in the power as this flow is run successfully so in the gbr response okay you can be see we have the data score 200 okay so means our flows run successfully in this way you can be pass the text as well as number okay so let's see how to pass an objects okay so friends let's create an object okay object is always present in the curly brackets okay so let's i give the curly brackets okay so in the curly brackets let i use a name okay and pass my name here okay ravindra let's i give the comma last name okay jado and let's pass the number as well okay so h and let's pass the number as a 21 okay but if you see here okay we are getting an one error okay incompatible type okay text column data source you are updating is text <coughs> but you are passing record so how to pass this json object okay as a text format okay so if you see we have the json function in the powerpress okay so we can be use this json function okay to pass this okay so if you see to use this json function we can be use image media number all formats of data types here okay so let's i go in the power app studio and simply i wrap this one okay this json okay means our object okay in the json function okay so let's i type the json let's i go here and close the json function here so if you see our error is not present now okay so it is passing in the text format okay let's do similar for the text to okay for the collection as well okay so let's we create one collection okay let's i use a table formula for that okay you can use collection as well okay table represent a collection okay the format of the collection is table okay that's why using table here or let's i we create one let's i add one more button and let's create one collection okay and let's i use a line okay call collection comma number 1 so i created this collection let i press this one two three times okay and if you see in this collection so we have the numbers present here okay so and data type is table here okay so let's we pass this table okay in our collection okay so let's i use here call collection okay but same error we are getting okay incompatible type we are want to expect the text but getting the table as a format okay so same we will use here json okay and then just we close this so now if you see our error is gone let's i use here remove formatting and let's format this entire code okay so if you see here okay our entire code let i explain to you this code okay so first we are passing text okay simply number number format to pass object as well as collection we use the json function in the power app and then passing this okay so let's i use run this flow okay and let's see the output here okay of this flow what we are getting here okay So if you see in the GBR response, okay, we are getting two hundred. Let's say go to the Power Automate flow, okay. So this is our Power Automate flow, 
okay and let's i go back okay and see the run history of this flow okay so can we see our both the flows are run successfully okay so let's make some of the changes okay in this flow so you can be use your object as well as collection in the power automate flow okay so let if i showcase you the run history of this one okay let's i go back one step and let's i click on this 50 seconds i go in the power apps v2 collection okay if you see the object okay it is coming in this format and the collections coming in this format okay so how to extract the values from this okay so for that purpose we have one function okay that is parse json okay so we will use this function okay parse json okay and let's give us your content okay so let's i provide the content here okay let's we give us first collection okay and the schema we will create this from the sample playload okay so this is our sample playload okay collection and let's i go here okay and simply paste this here okay and click on the done okay so our collection is created okay and you can be simply use this in the compose one okay so i let's i add one compose okay and use that column name okay body number so we will get for each loop okay and you can be literate each and every record by using this action okay so similar you can be do for the object as well okay so let's i select one more time par json action okay and let's click on the content here okay dynamic content okay and we have the object okay for the object as well we need the format okay so let's i copy this okay use sample playload and just simply i will paste it here okay and click on the done here okay so our object is generated okay you can simply save and test this okay you can be you will get your all the values and you can be run your next power automate flow okay i hope this added some values in your knowledge okay and uh, also i write a blog okay on this topic okay so you can be watch that blog okay and if you have any questions any doubt you can be ask me in the comment box friends thank you keep learning keep growing keep exploring have a nice day to you all so if you see our flow is run successfully okay here we will get the objects and here we are getting all the values here okay age is number other things we are getting successfully thank you friends have a nice day